everybody. Welcome to Meddling World. Today, we're at the Winter Garden Fair. Come on and check it out. So guys, we figured we'd try something different on Meddling World today. Hey, Jake. Yeah. Been a long time since we've been at a, uh, it's called a fair. To me, this is more like a carnival. In New yeah. England, we would call this a carnival. A fair, anyway, up north you have a lot of agriculture and crafts. This is like midway fun food, carnival food, carnival rides. Remember that? You guys remember this one from back in the day? Oh my God, I think we used to call it Gravitron or something like that. Now it's called the Zero Gravity. I can't put that on. Wow, we got all the cool rides. We're gonna have fun. I remember that so much fun. Oh yeah. So we're just kind of walking around right now figuring out the different ticket options, right? Yeah. Because remember, at the carnival, you take tickets, but this particular carnival, yeah. they have a lot of specials. Uh, yeah. By the way, let me give you some information about the carnival, Roberta. Yeah. Free parking. Yeah. Free admission. Yeah. I mean, those two things right there got us to go. Yeah. Oh gosh, guys, look at chicken on a stick. We got all the awesome carnival fair foods. Oh, look at this one, the claw. Wow. As I was saying, they do have different um, options for tickets and rides. During the weekdays, they're having a special. It's $20 wristband. You can ride as much as you want. On the weekends, it's $30. You can ride as much as you want. And then you can also purchase tickets individually. So Roberta and I, we're not probably gonna be riding. Jake definitely picked out a few he wants. So, I can't ride them anymore. <laughs> not like when we were kids. No. But I'm telling you, if, if you're, you know, my age, Roberta's age, these carnivals, fairs, they haven't changed. They haven't changed since the 70s and 80s. It's the same ride, same things. So it's this is really like uh, bringing back all kinds of fun memories. Oh, I remember this when you get the goldfish. Go fish in a bowl game. All the fun midway games. And like I said, it's advertised as a fair, but this is just pure midway. This is just pure fun. Games, rides, and food. So let's go over to the ticket window. I'm gonna show you guys kind of how much some of the different things are. So if you wanna come down and check it out, it does run up until April 30th. So let's go check it out. And you got the and you got the games. You can get the you can get the prizes. Wow. Oh, all the food though. Oh my gosh. Carnival candy, cotton candies, candy apples. So here's your prices for your tickets. So most of the rides, like for Jake, were eight tickets. So we think we're just gonna get you could go on five rides pretty okay, much. Thank you. 20 bucks or they do have this it's $30 for the wristband on the weekends and $20 on the weekdays so pretty cool and this is your ticket thing here so this shows you if you want to pause it how many tickets for each ride cool Roberta's already looking at goodies over here guys look at that chocolate dip cheesecake oh I love fairs I love carnivals Jake, you decided, he decided he wants to go on one of these rides over here. Um, this ride, I believe, we used to call the Music Express, Roberta, when I was a kid. It's straight up over there. So Jake's going on this ride. They now call it the Himalaya. Guys, am I right? This used to be called the Music Express back in the 80s anyway. But look, it's got the, the guy on the skis there. And you can see like the theming. Here goes Jake, he's jumping in. Yes, just like a typical fair. It's gonna be ready to rock and roll. So Jake, he's getting ready to go. But what I, Roberta. Yeah. Now, do you remember, did you ever ride this when you were a kid in Brazil? Yeah. Now, it used to go forward and backwards. Yes. I wanna see if it still does. Yeah. But you can already hear the music going. Yeah. But back in my day, we were listening to like Journey on it and like Def Leppard. So. Pretty fun, man. I mean, I'm just loving this. So guys, it's really moving. We got some good country music playing here. Oh, I am just loving this. So fun. 
I cannot wait to ask Jake how he likes. Let's see if we can see him. There he goes. Jake looks like he's hanging on for dear life. Oh, he's giving me a thumbs up, guys. We'll, we'll get a full review of the Himalaya as soon as Jake's done. I tell you what, it's it's been going for a while. <laughs> so if if you have motion sickness, it's still going, guys. Look, it's still going. I'm waiting to see if it goes backwards. I don't think so. It's been going on for so long. And it kind of slowed down and then sped back up. Yeah. All right. Let's wait for Jake, guys. So here we are, Jake. Give us a full review. I I'm gonna call it the Music Express. That's what we used to yeah. call it. How was it, Jake? It was uh, intense. Intense. Yeah. Now, did you get any kind of sickness? Uh, I got a little stomach. It's a little rough, but not that much. A little rough, but not that much if you couldn't hear Jake, so seemed to like it. I think he's eyeing this one. Wow. The rock star. Well, let's find out. So Jake's just decided, guys, he wants to try the Haunted Mansion, and believe me, this is not the Haunted Mansion you're gonna find at Disney World. This haunted mansion, I think, may really be haunted with some old ghosts back from the 70s and 80s hiding in there. So there goes Jake, and we'll get a review. Let's see how it is when he gets out. Uh, I remember riding this. There used to be a park in Rhode Island. It used to be called Rocky Point. We used to go when I was a kid. It closed down, I think, in the uh, mid-90s. It might have closed down late 90s. It was a cool old park and it had a ride very similar to this. Here comes Jake. Jake, full review of the Haunted Mansion, Jake. It's not really that scary and kind of short. Can you speak up? It's not really that scary and a bit short. It was pretty short, maybe a minute. Yeah, well, we got a couple more rides Jake can choose, but we do need some snacks. We need some fair food snacks. So let's see, let's see where we end up next. So it looks like Roberta has decided to try a funnel cake. Funnel cakes have come a long way uh, in the recent years. Look at all the different choices, guys. Don't forget to get all these little we don't want it, we don't need it. Wow. Oh, that's what they look like. Look at this. I call fried dough, they call funnel cakes. Up north we call fried dough, but this one's got chocolate, it's got M&M's, it's got the powdered sugar. 10 bucks, it's pretty big, definitely shareable. Matthew? Uh, matter of fact, I can't wait to try. Oh, it's nice and warm and hot, it's fresh. Mm. Fair taste. <laughs> now, I'm officially at the fair, the carnival, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Well, we're starting to put a dent in it, but I want to show you. You see the powdered sugar on the shirt? That's official. Jake, that is official um, fried dough eating. Roberta, what'd you think of the funnel cake? Excellent. Yeah. And I mean, Jake was, uh, he's just concentrating on eating all the top part. So we're gonna enjoy a funnel cake and we'll go hit another ride after this. Just kind of walking around, checking out some of the other rides and some of the food. All kinds of different foods here, guys. Also, they do have the prizes and they have some crafts. Uh, not really crafts, but little things that you could buy. You know, little necklaces and things like that. Of course, you got your hot dogs, your Philly steaks, ices. So, yes, it's a very typical carnival style here. Uh, a lot of fun, though. No, it's so cool to kind of be out of the park, right? We're trying something different a little bit. We're, we're really enjoying it. It's fun. Jake decided he wanted to try the Cuckoo House. It's kind of like an old fun house. Looks like they got like the spinning. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working. It should be spinning, right? It's got this thing here. So, yeah, it's like the old style fun house we used to call, right? Well, Jake's on it. Let's see how he likes it. I think he's got enough for another ride after this. One thing I did want to show you guys is the days of all those long tickets gone. It's just a little card now. So, Jake, how was that fun house? It was all right. It's all right. 
takes you to the Disney World and Universal rides, guys. These are carnival rides, as you know, so much different for him. For him. But when I was his age, oh man, we would all get together, all of us friends, and come and hang out at the carnival every time I came to town. It was Roberta awesome. says I got fried dough powder all over me. Powdered sugar, love it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Jake wants to tell us something here, guys. Yeah. Oh yes, the moving floor. Yeah. Pretty cool. Guys, here's the Thunderbolt. Another uh, music one. I, I call him Music Express because that's what I remember him as. I remember him as the Music Express. More awesome fry, uh, fair food. Another fun house over here. I don't even know where Jake went. He's been like kind of like going on these little chill rides today. Probably a little different than the parks, right? So he's just enjoying it. Let's see what he picks. It kind of worked out good because he had 14... Uh, tickets left on that card. So this is an eight. Most of them are eights. Okay, most of them are eights. But he did go on that ten. So it kind of threw off the queue a little bit. Uh, but this worked out all right. Uh, he'll still be able to do five rides because this one's eight tickets. And then he said, oh, I can go on a bag slide. That's six. So he's going to hit these two. We'll let him ride both and then we'll see what he likes. Uh, actually, I could probably record him coming down the bag slide. All right, there he goes. Oh, that one's like the House of Mirrors there, right? That used to be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, I'm reliving all my childhood here, Roberta. What about you? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. I'm trying to see if we can... A little out. different of a vlog for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to come here, but if you're local, yeah. you're getting a good... A, a good uh, tour around. No, but this is good to show because when you're here, sometimes... You can check, do other stuff yeah, and check, you don't have to, like yeah, this, if you're here you from, know. especially if you're coming from you Brazil yeah. or Europe, and yeah. a lot of times you come for two, three weeks, yes. you get out of the bubble a little bit. This yeah. is 25 minutes away from Disney World. Yeah, and it's fun. And look it, it's so cool, it's so cool. So Jake's informed me the best part of the monkey maze was the mirror, um, we call House of Mirrors, right? But he's going to go ahead and use his last tickets right here on the bag slide. I remember watching like a viral video. Have you guys seen that one on TikTok? I think it was about a year ago. They were coming down one of these and they were like jumping off. And by the time they got here, they didn't even hit this last one and people were getting injured. Well, let's hope it's not quite like that. But there goes Jake and we'll give him a, a recording as he comes down. As we're waiting for Jake, looks like he might have the VIP slide. Uh, I think he's the only one up there. I'm bringing back memories of my older kids, Mariah and Lucas. They're now in their mid and late 20s. Uh, I remember coming and waving to them. Yay, Jake! Oh, he's moving good. There he goes. So I, I'm just, yeah. You know, oh, so that was is, one of my favorites when I used I remember to go, being yeah. a kid, I was talking about, I remember Mariah and Lucas when they were younger. Yeah. And going and waving, go ahead, guys, have fun. So. A lot of great memories, man. Yeah, a lot of cool. great memories, man. And making some with Jake. How was it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. I think, for some reason, I don't think they scanned right because we just asked the guy and says he's got 10 grand left. left. Maybe we find one more ride? Guys, I see Jack Skeleton. I can't get away from Disney. It's a blanket. It's like a, a, a cover, yeah, a cover. Yeah, it's, cool. it's like a jacket. That actually is cool, man. So we're kind of walking now. We're kind of here. This is like the, the smaller children area. Um, some more games. I actually have a carousel. And I did see this barbecue over here. Let me show you. Jimmy Bear's barbecue. So he's grilling and chilling right there, fresh. And Jake mentioned it was bumper cars. He wanted to go check out. I think they're over on this side. So let's go see over there. So yeah, lucky enough, Jake got a bonus ride today. We're gonna check out the bumper cars. Let me go over and join Roberta over there and let's show you what it's all about. Fun time, I remember riding these too. Big jumbled mess there. At least he's got his Ferrari shirt on. Yeah. He thinks he's in his Ferrari today. Jake, I'm so glad you had your Ferrari shirt on while you were riding the bumper cars. <laughs> hey, Jake, how were they? 
He said they were good. Jake, come over here. Which one was your favorite? Yeah, Jake, what was your... Jake, what was your favorite ride the, today uh, at the carnival? Music Express. The Music Express. He know He's using the right terminology, guys. Oh, guys, oh, Roberta. Yeah. We had a fun time at the fair today. The yeah. carnival. We're going to head out. We had a good time. Definitely got our money's worth. Yeah. It was fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, wait a minute, one more look at the fun carnival here. See ya! <laughs>